Fortunately, I had the privilege of learning yet another language at the same time as English, and this language was music. I had picked up the piano at that boarding school and once from a little old nun named Sister Saint Arma, cute little, cute little, chubby little thing. Um, God bless her. May she rest in peace. And once I was in high school in Winnipeg, Indian Affairs, God bless them, always made sure they boarded me at a home that had a piano, for I was obsessed with the instrument. My paternal grandfather was a legendary fiddler. My father played the accordion, so I, third generation in this line of musicians, would become a pianist. It was natural. High school in Manitoba in those days didn't offer music as an elective, so all the music, all music lessons, all music lessons, if one wanted them, had to be taken outside school hours. They were considered, that is to say, extracurricular activity. Now, I don't have my facts that, that aren't here, but at 7 a.m. Monday morning, say, I would be at my private lesson in harmony, she, Gwen Davies, this extrinsic old woman who worked for the king. At 7 a.m. Tuesday, I was at my lesson in, in form. 7 a.m. Wednesday, it was my lesson in history, that is, music history. 7 a.m. Thursday, I was at my lesson in counterpoint, etc. And this, keep in mind, entailed my getting up at 5.30 a.m. every morning to get on a bus in the butt freezing winter of Winnipeg to cross the city and cross it going the other way to be in school on time for 9 a.m. And then Blessed Saturday, of course, was the day of my weekly piano lesson, heaven. And this way, and later on at university, I learned to deconstruct and then reconstruct a Beethoven sonata. Play the chamber music, we play the, to play Chopin nocturnes, to write my own fugue in the style of J.S. Bach. Write for an orchestra. Play the chamber, music, the chamber music of Mendelssohn, Schubert, and Shostakovich. Accompany opera singers and in the process familiarize myself with the rep operatic repertoire, etc., etc. From age 18 to age 22, that's all I did. It was total immersion. I was a Buddhist monk and music was my god. I may not quite have reached my dream of becoming a concert pianist. I started too late, born in the wrong place at the wrong time. Northern Manitoba in a snowbank with the nearest piano 500 kilometers away? Forget it. I mean, Glenn Gould was born in Toronto. Martha Argerich in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Evgeny Kissin in Moscow. Yuja Wang in Beijing. Jan Lizetsky in Edmonton. All these good people, God bless them, born and raised in the music capitals, if not of the world and of their respective capitals. They were born in the right place at the right time, but I wasn't. So, I had no choice but to move on to other dreams, which, God willing, I had, I had plenty, one of which was to write my own music for my own shows, one of which was to write songs and play them for my own cabarets, cabarets that are now heard on six continents for music, as it turns out, is the, only, is the original and only universal language, the only one understood and spoken in all 450 countries on this planet.